Jitters is a play about a theater company putting on a show that may or may not go to New York. Uh, it was written in the 70s by David French, who's well known to Soul Pepper audiences. It's, uh, it's his first big balls to the wall comedy and uh, it's a, a spectacular play. It's very funny. Plot-wise, they're, they're putting on a play and it, it's about how, how well or not well they do. A lot of people don't know at all what it is to rehearse a play, um, what it is to put a play on, what the director actually does, what the, the writer's role is in a new play, um, and what the actors, how, how they come to their performances. And, and what they feel. And that mirrors a lot of workplaces. It's not just a theater thing. I'm sure that lawyers watch a show and go, oh my God, that's just like my office. Um, so uh, it's, it's just what happens when a group of people try to accomplish something together, which is a very difficult thing to do. And that's what we do for a living. There's a scene in the play in which the director says to the playwright, go home, please just get out of here and last time I did the play I actually said that to David French and I said you realize what I'm saying and he didn't he was like what I said well I'm telling you to go home because you want me to go home I go David this is from the play like we're doing your play right now like it's happening in real life there's a, a tinge of melancholy with this because David was in every second of every rehearsal uh, every rehearsal for leaving home of the fields lately and saltwater moon and jitters and last time we did jitters he was dying of cancer and uh, he was there in the rehearsal hall every single day and um, this is the first time uh, that I've uh, I've done a, a David French play without him in the room so uh, hopefully we'll do him proud Oliver Dennis said he's never heard an audience laugh as loud, and that's something because he's been in a lot of shows and he's a very funny man. But uh, you know, he says he's never had an experience where he's heard people laugh as much and as heartily and and uncontrollably as they do watching this play. So I'm confident that that'll be the case this around, this time around too.